Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our 5 p.m. on site and online, also al fresco worship service. And we are so glad to see you joining us today. And to those who are joining us online, click yun po yung share button or you can type the names po sa comment section and invite them to join us as we worship God today. Right? And I know that each and every one are excited to worship God. Sino ba dito? First time lang kab nakakabalik dito on-site. Can I see some hands? Ayun. Welcome. I can say welcome back to our on-site worship service. Alright? So as we begin to worship God today, why don't we all stand? As we prepare our hearts and our minds, let me read to you Psalm chapter 7, verse 17. The scripture says, I will give to the Lord the thanks due to His righteousness. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord, the Most High. Let us pray. Father, thank you for today. Thank you, Lord God, for the presence of each and everyone here on site in Adala Fresco. And to those who are joining us online, Lord, thank you for this time that you gave us, amen, for giving us the good health, Lord, and for your protection that we arrived here safely, Lord God. I pray, Father, as we worship you today, Lord, please, Father, let us hear your word, Lord God. Speak to us. Minister to us, Lord. And as our hearts sing out, Lord, we're just going to declare your goodness and your faithfulness in our life. Maraming maraming salamat mo. This we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So church, come on. Let's worship God.
Come on, praise Him. we sing today, God, kahit ano po pong posture ng heart namin, it's yours. Dry kami, walang strength, ang daming problema, it's still yours, God. Maybe some of you right now, pagod kayo. Feeling longing, the longingness that you want to fill in your heart. There's something in you na binubuhat mo, but di mo na kaya, pero pilit mo inahawakan. God is telling you na, bigay mo yan sa akin, anak. Bigay mo yan sa akin. I am the one who will carry that for you. You know what, what worship means? Being honest with God. If you feel tired, just tell Him. If you feel dry, Lord, I don't feel it. But I want to worship You. Not because of what I feel. Not because of who I am or what I have. But because of who You are. Because that what faith is. Looking into His attributes. That He is holy. He is righteous. I'd like to read for you from Revelation chapter 4. And this is what worship looks like in heaven. And I wanted to encourage you with this. And what will happen in the future when Jesus came in the heavens. We're going to worship God there every day. And this is the vision of John. After this, I looked, and behold, a door standing open in heaven. And the first voice, which I had heard speaking to me like a trumpet, said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place after this. And in verse 8, And the four living creatures, each of them with six wings, are full of eyes all around and within. And day and night, they never cease to say, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was in this and this to come. And that's who He is. He is the God of past. He is the God of present. And He is the God of future. He knows what will happen because He knows everything about you. Even if you're tired, just tell Him, Lord, I am tired. I don't want to sing, but I wanted to worship you. Because of who you are, sometimes, see God, yung matitira na lang sa atin yung, yung attributes niya, mawawala yung feelings natin, everything that we have, the materials. And you are in the middle. The light of God is in you. You just need to all recognize it. The word of God has planted in you. In Psalm 119 verse 105, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Pag nagbukas yung ilaw na yun, ma-overwhelm tayo. Kaya ni Lord, bibinibigyan ng light yung feet natin. Kasi gusto ni Lord, we just step one at a time. Every step is a trust in Him. And one thing na hold natin na truth niya is to behold His glory we, you love, God loves you so much. That's why we will sing with confidence. Come on, praise Him. Praise Him. Praise Him. Focus on your promise But still I see the giants 
In the midst of chaos, I will look through eyes of faith. Even when the war switch. Even when the wars rage, I know it's not my battle. So every enemy, so spirit goes before me. So every enemy must bow. Cause you make mountains move, you push strongholds down. None can stand against you. Kings lay down the crowns Every fear is silence For your word is true When it seems there's no way Cause you make mountains move We worship Jesus Come on, raise your hand Remembering Remembering your goodness Your power and provision your power and provision In weakness and in triumph Your faithfulness has scared me oh, With burning With burning expectation I stand I stand in this assurance The God of resurrection Will be the one to overcome. Oh, cause you make mountains move, you pull struggles down. None can stand against you, kings lay down their grounds. Every fear is silent, for your word is true. When it seems there's no way, cause you make mountains move. Come on. Cause you make mountains move You pull strongholds down None can stand against you Kings lay down their crowns Every fear is silence For you it is true When it seems there's no way Cause you make mountains move We worship Jesus Nothing's impossible. Nothing's impossible. My God will overcome. My you turn. You turn my doubts to dust. Fulfill your promises. Fulfill your promises. Nothing's impossible. My God will overcome. My God will overset. My God will overcome. My God will overcome. My God will overcome. My God will overcome. So old, so worthy, so great is your name that the earth will adore you and shout out your fame. So so well, so great is your name that the earth will adore you. Shout out so holy. So well, so well, so great is your name that the earth will adore you and shout out your fame. So well, so well, so great is your name. Sing it so holy, so holy, so worthy, so great is your name. That the earth, come on, give me stand. Shout out your faith, give me stand. So holy, so worthy, so great is 
so holy. the living God. back to the cross. So Yes, Lord, He is holy, He is worthy, His name is great indeed. Father, thank you for the time of worship that we have. I don't know about you, but there's something in me. Galing talaga ni Lord, that's been stirring in my heart while singing those songs. Every day, we're facing different challenges, right? Every day, I hope that we are praying the grace of God to help us to get it through. And I hope that all of us, at the end of it, blessing and honor should be bring back to God. Amen? And for those who are currently suffering right now, maybe may kakilala kayo, uh, kapamilya nyo, na suffering could be COVID or in any kind of diseases na 
that person is undergoing right now, if you are joining us online, please post it in our comment section. We'll take time to pray for them. And here on site, kung may kakilala kayo, you can just raise your hand and we'll just take time as a community to stand together in prayer with you. So Father, thank you for today. Thank you for your sweet reminder to all of us. It's not about our own effort. It's not about our strength. It's not how good we are, Lord, but it's all because of your grace that we are able to live by day by day. Father, I pray for our brothers and sisters who are suffering in any condition right now. Lord, I pray that that your presence be with them. I pray, Father, that healing shall come upon them, Lord, in Jesus' name. I pray, Father, for the families, for the people, the mekakilala, that's been undergoing such disease, their God, or any medication that needs to be done. I pray, Father, overwhelming provision, Lord, for the medication and all the fees that needs to be paid, Lord. Lord, I pray that through the seasons that they've been facing right now, at the end of it, it will bring back glory and honor to your name. So, Father, all of us, as we prepare our hearts and mind to listen to your word, help us as well. Give us the grace to surrender everything to you, Lord. Maybe some of us, may mga karga, galing sa trabaho, if, even in relationship. But then the Lord was to tell you that He is with you. His love will never end. And His love, through His love, you will endure forever. So Lord, we're just grateful and we just want to bring back all the glory and honor to Your name. This I ask in Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Come on, let's give Him praise. Wow. Ang sarap tignan pag madami talagang tao na ngayon sa on-site natin, even in our alfresco. Thank you, Lord! Come on, pinakbaka natin si Lord! Yun! And we also still have seats here sa harapan for those sa salikuran. Uh, you can sit here, punta na po tayo sa harap para sa mga uh, makakasama natin mamaya na medyo baka malate or late na talaga. Then they can have the seat at the back po. So, uh, once again, welcome to Victory. We exist to honor God and make disciples. So, bago po kayo po, I know kahit may mga face mask po tayo, greet the person next to you, kahit high five or high high lang. Bawal pala physical, ano? Bawal yung touching, high high lang, and then you may now take your seats. All right. And to nga na sabi ko po, no? Uh, as a church, we exist to honor God and make disciples. And by the way, di pa pala ako nakapagpapakilala. Maybe some of you don't know me. My name is BJ, and I am one of the leaders here in Victory Quezon Avenue. And as a church, that's really our desire to disciple people. And one of the ways that we can do it is by having events. Kaya nga, sa mga singles dito, kawai-kawai na ba? And even sa mga sa online na kasama natin, we had our event last night. Uh, it's entitled uh, Valentine's Swat. And I hope that more than na enjoy kayo sa time of fellowship that we have with other believers or with other people and with the teachers, I, uh, with the speakers that we had, I pray na may natutunan po tayo with the God-given season na meron tayo as a single. Alright? And we are excited to see everyone. Kung wala ka po doon dito sa picture ngayon, we, are, we hope that next time na meron po tayong event is makakasama na po kayo sa amin. Okay? And as a church, we are also practicing as a socially responsible church by having a compassion arm. Ang tinatawag po natin doon is Real Life Foundation. And it aims to provide hope and education sa mga bright but underprivileged Filipino students across the nation. Even, ito po, kahit sa mga remote at malalayong area. And today, we will listen to a story of our first alumna, guess what, saan po? In Marawi. And how she aims to extend your hope that she received from the Real Life Foundation para naman po sa family niya and sa community. So church, let's all watch this video. 
At Real Life, we build different partnerships that help us provide access to education to underprivileged students throughout the Philippines. One of our partners is the Bridge Student Center, an interreligious nonprofit organization that aims to serve communities and promote peace by bridging the gap among different cultures, ethnic groups, tribes, and religions. Our first alumna in Marawi is Raisa Haji Omar from the Bridge Student Center in their area. Hindi po ako lumaki sa biological parents ko kasi sa grandparents ako lumaki. May sakit pa yung papa ko tapos may mapasok sa work. Hindi sila makapag-work ng matagal. Nakilala ko po yung Bridge Student Center. Super na close po ako sa kanila. Tapos sabi ko, nahihirapan na talaga. Baka hindi na talaga ako mag-enroll. Tapos sabi niya sa kanila, Isa, huwag ayun, huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa. Makakahanap tayo ng pag-provide. And then yun, bigla na lang ano, nag-announce yung RL na lumabas na yung result ng ano, mga pumasa. And then, super happy ako. Sabi ko, grabe yung, ano, yung blessings. Then, na-realize ko na talaga na kailangan ko din talaga mag-aral para din sa sarili ko at para din makatulong sa ibang tao. Kung sa barangay namin, ang daming bata na hindi nakakapag-aral, para sa akin talaga, na-encourage talaga ako na gusto ko talaga magturo ng mga bata na hindi kaya mag-aral. Gusto ko pumunta sa mga lugar na walang mga paaralan kasi gusto ko mag-share ng knowledge, gusto ko matuto yung mga bata bilang papalit sa generation. Kailangan natin talaga mas magsipag mag-aral para ma-guide natin yung mga susunod na mga generation. Sa lahat po ng bumubuo ng Real Life Foundation, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat-lahat na binigay nyo, tulong nyo, ma-financial man, or mga prayers nyo. Grabe yung appreciate po namin ng mga scholar. Super laki ng may ambag nyo sa buhay namin. So, thank you, RL. We count it a privilege that we get to bring hope and education to the underprivileged youth in Marawi. Thank you for your support and generosity that help us impart values to our scholars. This enable them to participate in building their community and the nation. Amen. Praise God for that. Indeed. It's all by the grace of God that even this pandemic, tuloy-tuloy po tayo uh, to support this bright and amazing students. And as a church or in Real Life Foundation, we believe that every student deserves of access to education and to have a fighting chance as well, to have a good future. So to all of us, your support is really make, is making a big difference to show to our scholars that kahit Saan po sila manggaling? Okay? Hindi po sila limitado. And they could, they can reach or they can achieve their goals through that. So thank you for inspiring hope sa mga scholars natin. And together, let's change life and change a nation. And as we continue to worship God, and this time through our giving, let me read to you Luke chapter 8, verse 1 to 3. It says, Soon afterward, he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news to the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary, called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household manager. And Susanna and many others who provided for them out of their means. So from the passage that we natin dito. It shows that the disciples of Jesus Christ, they provided support out of their means. For what cause? And that is for proclaiming the gospel. And us, as followers of Jesus Christ, we give our tithes and offering, not just by because it is a command from the Word of God, but then we are allowing ourselves to be used as a child of blessing, special to our church, to give an avenue to our church to proclaim the gospel to other people. Our church is being used as a channel of blessing. So let's always be reminded that we as well is being used by God. Amen? Let's pray. Father, thank you for this opportunity for us to be able to be used 
by you, Lord God, as a conduit of your blessing. Lord, I pray, bless every tighter and giver. And we acknowledge you, Lord God, that you are the one who is blessed with the works of our hand, Father, for us to produce wealth, not just to provide for our family, but also to be used, Lord God, as a blessing in advancing your kingdom. Lord, we ask for grace to trust you day by day, Lord God, just to fully surrender and commit everything to you, that you alone, Lord God, are sole provider. We thank you. We bless your name, Lord. This I ask in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So church, uh, for for what I give here on site, uh, our center is open every Saturday and Sunday from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. However, uh, for your safety, and we we encourage you to use our online platform. You can get the details uh, using the the direct deposit. And also, if you have GCash app on your phone, you can just scan the QR code that's being flashed on the screen. And you can also visit our website victory.org.ph slash give for the options to give to our Every Nation Campus, Missions, and Real Life Foundation. So church, I believe whether you give online or on-site, God will be honored. God bless as you give. Okay, magandang hapon po sa ating lahat. Welcome po sa ating 5 p.m. online, on-site, and alfresco. Binabati ko po yung mga kasama po na natin nasa outdoors ngayon. And to those of us, nakita ko po ang daming first time na ngayon po naglabas, no? So kung titignan niyo po yung paligid, hindi po tayo nag-usap, no, na pula ngayon. At wala po tayong, wala po tong kinalaman sa ibaboto po natin. <laughs> okay, Valentine's Day po bukas. Okay, <laughs> wala pong... We are one big happy family here in Quezon Avenue. If this is your first time online, uh, welcome. Please do share, tag, and uh, send this to your loved ones so that they can also hear God's Word. Yan. So, meron po tayong special shout-out lang sa mga ka- nanonood po ngayon online. Carlo, ma- yung sounds ba malakas? Ay, hindi po. Nandito po pala siya ngayon. No? Nag-volunteer po <laughs> sa likod si Carlo. Okay, I want to greet our extended family online, sina Bugia family, okay? Talavera family, yung isa po sa worship leader natin, bagong kasal po sila, kaya po hindi na siya alimon, Talavera na po, no? May bagong kasal po sila. And Estrella family po, ang aking mga kamag-anak na naimbitahan. Welcome po. As we all know, no, kaya po we would like to encourage us na kung may kakilala po kayo, medyo nag-aalangan pa sa on-site. Because of the virus, okay, baka hindi pa safe, no? You know, we are doing our best para po maging safe tayo dito. That's why we placed air purifiers. Tingnan nyo po itong apat po na to. Hindi po pras. Pakita natin, bro. Ito, ito po yan. You can buy this. Hindi, biro pa. Ano, ano, ano po siya? Uh, <laughs> mga air purifiers po natin yan. Just to make sure, bago po umabot sa inyo yung hangin na galing sa akin, malinis na. Okay. So, yun po yun, no? Tapos we also have one at the back. Hindi po yun yung sinasawsawan ng tubig bago kayo lumabas. Air purifiers din po yan. Okay, yun nandyan po sa may bandang labas. Okay, so that's why we uh, ordered the seats as well. Kung papansin niyo po, para tayo naka-checkered, di ba? Nakadama. Di, pansin niyo po ba yun, no? Naka, hindi po tayo naka... Para po nang sagayon, kung meron man pong umupo na sinlaki ni Billy at saka po ni Mab, so hindi po maharangan, no? Makikita, hindi po kayo naggagaganon sa likod. Okay, si, si Marco medyo nakaramdam na, no? kaya sa likod na umupo. <laughs> we invite as well everyone. Dami sinasabi na itong pastor na to. Mag-word na tayo. Last na po ito. Okay? We would like to invite us if you want to be part of our growing community. Nandito po kayo regularly. We invite you to join us in our, as, we, as you volunteer and prepare our worship service. You can do your uh, service and usher. Okay? Si Tita Silvia na sa likod po, no? Uh, isa po sa mga faithful ushers natin, si Ate Mao, nandito rin po. And si, sa tech and stage, kung mahilig kang mag-Dota, mahilig kang mag-computer dati, hindi kang maglalaro doon. Okay? Hindi tayo maglalaro doon. You will just help us yung fina-flash po sa screen. Sila po yung nag-organize nag- 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 po niya, no? So, if you are into music, please do join us sa music, no? May audition nga lang. Okay? Hindi po pwedeng yung boses nyo sa inyo, maganda rin sa inyo lang. Sa, kailangan po sa lahat. Okay? Kailangan po tayo, agree tayo, no? 
So, kaya po hindi ako pumasa sa worship team eh. <laughs> so anyway, I would like to invite everyone to please stand up as we read God's Word together. To give reverence in the Word of God. Okay, let's read from um, John chapter 17 verse 14. Okay, basahin po natin. The world has hated them because they are not of the world. Just I am not of the world. Verse 15, I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. Let's bow our heads and pray. Lord, we lift up your name that is above every name. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The Word that we are reading today are the very words that comes from you, O God. And the manifestation of our Lord Jesus Christ written in this Word. Thank you, God, for you will pierce through the hearts of everyone that you will increase our faith as we hear this message this afternoon, that you will give us courage to face tomorrow because we know we have the authority and the confidence that you are keeping us from evil, that we will live pure and upright hearts. We honor you, Lord. Bless your message today. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Lingunan mo naman yung katabi mo bago ka, bago ka umupo. Sabi mo, good to see you here. Okay, maganda. Then you can take your seat. Yan. Sobrang ganda po no, na nakikita-kita po tayo dito ngayon. Advance happy Valentine's Day din po sa atin. Sa mga may asawa po at sa mga may relasyon, happy Valentine's Day po ito mo bukas. Okay? Sa mga wala po, hindi po ito katapusan ng mundo. Okay? Hindi po ito All Souls Day. Okay? Hindi po tayo pupunta sa Pastor, alam, Valentine's Day. Hindi, hindi po. Okay? Uh, we celebrate Valentine's Day because we are born by the God of love, right? God is love. That's why we are celebrating this. And at the same time, very timely po, no? no? Timely po to, no? Na, to those of us who are online, pwede nyo sig- sigurong i-chat, no? Sa chat box natin. Um, sino ba yung favorite power couple nyo? Yan, sa mga online natin, di ba? Madami yan, eh. Si, si Budjoy, tsaka si mga, mga edad, lumalabas, no? Si Budjoy, tsaka si, si Marvin Agustin. Si, si Katniel, di ba? Meron naman Liz Ken. Meron yung sinisumigaw ng 2019 na, di ba? Tapos nag-break after one year. <laughs> Meron naman, sino bang... Sige po, dito rin magtatanong pala ako. Baka pwede kayong sumigaw din, tulad po ni Billy. Baka meron kayong kakilalang favorite nyo na love, kahit po hindi local. Okay? Si Harrison Ford, tsaka si ano, hindi, hindi ko kilala yun. Dinig ko lang po yun. Pero very timely po, no? Na merong nag-announce... Okay, if you are a fan of Chloe, di ba? Di ba? Nag-announce sila na ikakasal na sila, right? Sana hindi sila magaya kay Song Song, no? Na, pastor, talaga ikaw, ha? Mga napaghahalataan ka. <laughs> Yan lang po yung pinanood ko, na pinilit po ako ng asawa ko. Eto po yung magandang balita. Mas maganda pa to kaysa dun sa drafted ni James Harden, no? Na napunta sa, sa, sa Philadelphia, no? So, uh, we're looking forward to this... Uh, couple to bloom kasi sobrang nakakilig sila eh, no? Naalala niyo yung pumunta sa North Korea, naligaw si... Napanood niyo po ba? Hindi. Uwi po muna tayo. <laughs> okay, spoiler alert. <laughs> okay, si Yun Bin, si Captain Ri, yung lalaki po, no? Uh, he's a North Korean soldier. Okay, may kinalaman po to sa message natin. Wag po kayong mag-alala. Hang on. Um... Na in love siya dun sa babae na naligaw sa North Korea. South Korean po si Yoon Seri, di ba? Tama ba yung pangalan? Yoon Seri. And then, umuwi po ng South Korea yung babae, nakatawid. Sinundan po ni Yoon Bin, e eh, bawal sa North Korea yun. Okay? Because he felt like mas safe si Seri, di ba? Pagka nandun siya. Di ba? Mga men, kapag ka yung in love na in love ka, remember those times na parang pauwi ka na ng bahay, bukas gusto mo na ulit pumunta dun. Diba? Yung hindi mo pa nga nililigawan, diba? Sinasabi mo, tara, tin na kita. Para namang buong buhay niya, nakauwi naman siya ng bahay, diba? Hindi naman siya, wala naman nangyari sa kanya. Tapos parang nung dumating ka, parang biglang hindi na safe lahat, no? So, but here, Captain Ri, he felt, uh, the girl is more safe. Kind of like when Jesus, when he's about to leave this world. Okay? When, eto na po yung tawid natin, no? si Jesus po kasi, he's omnipresent. Okay, he's omnipresent that he knows everything. Agree? Alam po niya lahat. Lahat ng plano ng kalaban, lahat ng mga iniisip natin. Alam po niya yan, no? Okay? And he knew that when he left, okay, when he left the world, 
those people who followed Him and believed in Him will stay here. Okay? And this world, okay, hindi, hindi si Lord yung nagro-rule dito. Ha? Huh? Hindi si Lord. Sino? When the world became corrupted, remember, when Adam and Eve ate that forbidden fruit, okay, we don't know kung apple ba yun o langka or durian, di ba? Imagine mo, durian yung ginuya, ginuya nila. No? Tas, kaya pala sila nakik out kasi masakit eh. So, uh, people, those who followed God because the world is corrupted after that, after that forbidden fruit that was eaten, the world became corrupted. It became from order to disorder and there was the ruler of this known world. Sino po yun? Si Satan. Okay? Okay lang pong pag-usapan natin si Satan for a while because we will never understand, we have to understand the strategy of the enemy for us to defeat him. We are already victorious, but we have to know his play. Amen? So because of this ruler, okay, he is the one who's hindering people to get to know God. Kasi siya yung na-van banished from the garden together with, with uh, Adam and Eve. And then comes the fall of humanity. It says in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 1, And you were dead to your trespasses and sins. We are all dead. Whether you're doing good at school, at work, you're treating your wife well, apart from God, you're dead. Good works will not make you Erase your trespasses and sins. Verse 2, in which you were once walked following the course of this world. Yon, this world, no? Yung world po na sinasabi dito, it's not the earth, okay? It's the order where we lived. It's the order of this world, the fallen condition of this world. Sabi dito, and following the prince, ayan na po, the, of the power of the air and the spirit that is now at work in the sun's of disobedience. There's, a, there's an entity that's driving us away from God. No wonder you will wake up in the morning, you believe in God, right? But there are mornings that you don't feel like reading your Bible. Pero wala po dito sa 5 p.m. yan. Lahat po tayo dito, no? Mahilig tayo magbasa ng Bible. Tama po ba? Parang... Pag-pretend ka na lang na hindi ka tinatamaan, okay? Ano, oh, mga pastor, nagbabasa ka ng Bible palagi. Wala po dito sa atin yan. So, uh, there's an entity, there's a being that's telling you, oh, huwag ka muna magbasa. Nakalimutan mo yung trend mo sa TikTok kagabi, hindi mo natapos, di ba? Tapusin mo muna, three minutes lang yun eh. Okay? Huwag ka nang mag-tights. Kasi kulang yan. Di ba? Valentine's pa bukas. Na, there's, a, there's an entity. Wag mo nang sagutin mo yung misis mo. Okay, meron ako nabasa, no? Sabi niya, payo sa kanya, Brad, kailangan manalo ka lagi sa misis mo. Nanalo naman siya. Pero kumontak siya dun sa kaibigan niya nag-advise. Pre, nanalo ko sa misis ko. O talaga? Oh, may pwede bang matulugan sa inyo ngayong gabi? The enemy will try to tell you things that are not pleasing to God. This world is corrupted by the evil one and is driving people away from God. Yun po yung message natin for this evening. So we will now go home. Biro lang po, no? But here's the good news, okay? Itong ruler na to, hindi po siya nagtatapos as authority, supreme authority here in this world. Sabi po dito sa John, before the chapter that we uh, read a while ago, the ruler of this world, sabi po ni Jesus, we is judged. Sabi po, is judged. Sabi po sa mga online, is judged. Ibig sabihin, if you, even if you feel like you are defeated, even if you feel like you're being weakened in your faith because the enemy is trying to pull you out of, out, out of your relationship with God, he is already judged. The moment Jesus came here, He's already judged. It's just a matter of time. If you feel like you're in defeat today, you hit a wall, you're, you're in a rock bottom, there's nowhere to go, you feel like you don't deserve the presence of God again because you have a pattern of sin in your life that you're having a hard time struggling. Having a hard time struggling out of darkness. 
it's just a matter of time. The enemy is weakened because the, the light has come. When Jesus has come, when Jesus Christ came, the crutches of the enemy to those people, to us, is broken the moment we believe in Him. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, people of, for His own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of Him who called you out of darkness into His marvelous light. You see, because Jesus Christ came, now we have a choice. Before you don't know where to go, you, alam mo lang, nabuhay ka dito, hindi mo alam kung sa, pag namatay ka, pupunta ka langit, or pupunta ka ng lupa, or pupunta ka sa im. 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 <laughs> diba? Hindi mo alam kung saan ka papunta. But because Jesus Christ came, now you have a choice. Now we can choose God over our selfish desires, over our sinful nature. So pupunta po tayo sa heaven, yes, if you have Jesus with you. Don't doubt that. But here's the catch. Jesus is not your plane ticket to heaven. Hindi po natin passport si Jesus para makapunta tayo ng langit. Okay, Lord, ha? punta na akong heaven, tinanggap ko si Jesus. No, no. You cannot just claim that you're, you receive Jesus and then don't live your life of sin. I'm not saying 100% after you receive, you receive Jesus, you're already good. No. At least... At least kahit isa lang kapatid, may nagbago sa'yo the moment you receive Jesus. May progress ka. At least when you look 2021, okay, last year, compared this year, dahil may Jesus ka at you received Him genuinely, may nagbago sa'yo. Okay? Dati ayaw maghugas ng plato. Ngayon, yung baso, binabalawan mo na, di ba? Dati ayaw mong magligpit ng kama kasi... Pag, is, pag tulog mo mamaya, ganun din, guguluhin din naman nila eh. Di ba? Lalo na pagka yung sa mga anak mo na maliliit pa, no? talagang pag mo, parang ginere. But because you receive Jesus, there's transformation. You are uh, talking uh, curses less than before. Kung dati, isang, isang truck ng beer yung iniinom mo, ngayon, at least, may eh, pagbabago ka, di ba? Okay, there's progress. Jesus is not our lifesaver. We can never call Him and say that we are abiding in Him but going back to our sin. We cannot say that we abide with God only on a Sunday. Hindi pwede yun, kapatid. Hindi pwedeng 365 days, 364 days kay Lord. Yung one day, Lord, sa akin lang. Isa lang. Hindi pwede. Hindi, hindi yun yung gusto ni Lord. Later on, we will tell, we'll, we'll be discussing why will you stay. Okay? That is shallow Christianity. That's the Christianity of the masses. Those people are just part of the crowd. Okay? Again, dun po sa mga nanonood ngayon, dun po sa mga nandito ngayon, if you will not come back because you get offended by this word, okay lang po yun. Naintindihan ko po, no? pagpipray po natin yan. But after coming out of darkness, because Jesus Christ called us, we will abide in Him. Meron po ba dito na mahilig kayo sa mga samgyup, ganyan, mga kainan, no? o kaya sa mga bakasyuna na, ma, na uh, medyo uh, maganda yung lugar, tapos nakuha yung weak spot mo, yung parang, wag, gusto ko dito bumalik. Ha? Meron po ba dito ganon? Yung pag na, parang su, gagawin mo ng suke, o kaya pag namalengke ka, di ba? Parang ito lagi ako pinapatawad nito, dito ako lagi babal. Meron po ba, meron po tayo na yung comfort spot mo? Di ba kapag nagkaroon ka ng ganun, babalik at babalik ka, right? Kung pwede ka lang tumira dun eh, no? Dun ka na lang. Comfort spot. That's the same way when we found, when God found us and we receive Him as our Lord and Savior, the comfort is there. The security and the assurance is there. And we are meant to stay there because God wants us to stay with Him. Bakit umaalis yung mga tao? Kasi we are still off in this world. Are we here? We are still here in this world. Meron pa rin pong temptation. Meron pa rin pong pressure. Okay? Sometimes the words that we hear in the church doesn't apply when we get to our work. Pastor, akala ko ba kapag ano, kami yung light, pero pagdating ko dun sa work, parang ako yung kinakain ng dilim eh. 
Sometimes we feel that way because we're still in this world. But we are not of this world. Balik po tayo kay Jesus. Jesus is omniscient. Kung meron ka pong pwedeng i-take home ngayon, Jesus is omniscient. Okay? Ibig sabihin po nun, Jesus is all-knowing. God is all-knowing. Alam niya po lahat. That's why in verse 11, sabi po dito, no? Sabi ni Jesus, by the way, this is an act of prayer with God the Father before He go through that painful, excruciating pain just to pay the penalty of sin. Sinabi po ni Jesus to, as He converse with the Father, I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world. The disciples, those people who obeyed and believed in Him. And I, <coughs> excuse me, and I am coming to you, Holy Father, that they, that Keep them in your name, which you have given them, given me, and they may be one, even as we are one. You know, this is a very comforting verse because when you feel that the pressure is on, when you feel like nothing, nobody's on your side, verse 11 would remind us that Jesus is praying for you. Jesus is praying for each one of us. Those people who obeyed and followed Him. Those people who has the desire. Mga may desire po to follow God. I'm not saying na 100% na obey mo na siya. Quick raise of hands lang po. Sige po, hindi po, hindi po natin maamu yan. Okay lang po. Okay? Desire to follow God. Okay? So, with mga nasa online po, no, inaasim ko, nakita ko na kayo. When you feel like you're being abandoned by anyone, everyone, Jesus is omniscient. He's praying for us. Spray for what? Because He knew that we will stay here in this world. And we will not be treated well. We'll be treated harshly in this world. Jesus had a plan. Remember, Jesus is omniscient. Alam niya, hindi lang po tayo. He knows even the strategies, the plans, the weak points of the enemy. Yun nagtatempt sa'yo. Alam ni Jesus kung paano i-defeat yun. Alam niya yun. Yung evil, evil one, they're limited in their knowledge of us. Okay? Alam niya yung weakness natin. Alam niya yung paborito mong ulam, sa hindi. Alam niya yung temptation na dapat para sa'yo, sa hindi. But it's limited. Jesus, He knows all. Okay? Ano yung pinagpray ni Jesus for us while we're here in this world? As we abide in Him. In verse 11, basahin po natin yung dulo, no? I am no longer in this world, but you are, but they are in this world, in the world. And I am coming to you, Holy Father. Keep them in your name which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. Bakit pinagpray ni Jesus to? Because He knew that the schemes of the enemy is to isolate and disunite. That's why if you feel isolated, that's the plan of the enemy for you. If you are not connected to the church, you don't have any friends. You don't, you're not exerting an effort to build relationship inside the church. Eh, pastor, na-offend na ako eh. Eh, ano ngayon? Madami naman nagka-offend na dito eh. Okay? Si BJ po yung nag-exert ka. Lagi niya po ako ino-offend. Tuwing meeting po namin, ito naman, dami namang inuuto sa akin na ito. Hindi, biro lang po. Magkaibigan po kami ni BJ. Tuwing umuwi po yan ng bakulad, may libre po akong ano dyan. Ano yan? Uh, Castard. <laughs> Napoleones. <laughs> masarap po yun. Try nyo. Days, masarap yun. Try mo. Tamis. Isolation and disunity. If you are in this posture, you're isolated, you don't have any friends, you're not connected to the church, parang kang patay na kuko. Nandun ka lang, pero wala kang sense, di ba? Gusto mong patanggal. Nandun lang, display. You're not connected you're in a very, very crucial position. The enemy can easily snatch you away from God. Why? God is so gentle that He wants you to choose Him over your selfish desires. He will never force Himself to us. Kaya kapatid, kung hindi ka pa kasama connected sa Victory Group, at least kung hindi ka connected sa Victory Group, meron nga kaibigan. Okay? We're building... 5 p.m. service. Okay? Ang mahirap pong kumunik dito, madalas lalaki. Kasi ang babae, mag-usap lang ng Uniqlo, tsaka ng Chloe, ay, talaga sis! Oo nga! Kit-kit niya, 
ano, tsaka yung uso ngayon, yung kulay gray yung buhok, di ba? BTS, no? Crush ko yun. Oo. Ang daling ko muna. Pero lalaki po, mahirap, no? Ma- hindi ganun kadali. Tama po ba? O, ako lang. Lahat po na lalaki dito, friendly may pastor. Huwag kang magulo. Mahirap po, di ba? That's why we're doing a lot of efforts just to build this community as well with men. Kaya nga po, once in a while, one, once a month, we have our basketball game. Sobra, ha? Sa ano natin, ha? Feb 27, meron po tayong basketball game. Marco, marka na natin yan. <laughs> Because we want, we know that we are, when we are isolated, wala pong pastor-pastor sa enemy. Kahit ako po, hindi po ako excuse dito. That's why as much as I can, during the pandemic, I, I make sure I'm, I'm in touch with my friends. Not necessarily my victory group leader. Friends at church. Friends who will just tell me, pare, oh, bangon lang tayo, tayo lang tayo. Ganun talaga eh. Friends who will remind me who God is. Do you have those people? Because if you desire to abide with God, you need those people. Because the plans of the enemy is to isolate you. The plans of the enemy is disunity. Sounds familiar. Nagsimula yung campaign. Diba? Dati, pag nakita natin yung kulay pula, de bulls yan, pare. Chicago bulls ako eh. Ngayon, pag nakita mong pula, ano sinasabi ng tao? Ah, ano yan eh? O, hindi ko na sasabihin. Kung ano na natin yan? Okay, ah, dilaw, dilaw. Ah, din. Itlog na maalat, ganun, pink, tas naging dilaw. Ano, di yun. Lahat na associated na lahat sa, ano, sa kulay. Okay? It creates this unity, right? Sa tingin niyo po, sino yung nagre-rejoice ngayong season na to? Si God? No. Cancel culture? Sino nagre-rejoice doon? Pag nagka-cancel culture tayo, pagka yung nag-post ka, Kristiyano ka, tas nag-post ka, eh may nag-post sa'yo, babash mo ngayon? Para tayo yung mga nasa Facebook, parang inyong dalawang aso na nasa pagitan nila, isang gate lang, na ang tatapang, pero tinanggal na yung gate, parang kala mo, ang ah, amo bigla eh. Ang tapang lang, pagharap yung monitor. Why? As Christians, we don't allow this unity to come in our hearts. That's why I thank God. I thank God that I'm part of this church that we are, whether you're red, you're blue, you're pink, okay, kahit gusto mo, ikaw si Power Ranger, okay, lahat ng kulay, pakiwin mo, gusto mo rainbow ka, you're welcome here. Why? Because we are up for unity. We celebrate diversity. Okay? Kahit Lebron ka, at ako Jordan, mahal ko po si Billy. Kahit diehard po na, na Lebron yan. Hindi, sa debate si Lebron talaga yung ano eh, no? Because we celebrate diversity, we value unity. Because we know that this is the plans of the enemy. 30 plus years, we're almost 40 years as a church. Okay? We never experienced any single church split. Why? We understood the scheme of the enemy. We understood the desire of Jesus that we may be one as He and the Father are one. You feel isolated. You feel disconnected. Pero bago natin balikan yun, I'm encouraging everyone in this time of election and campaign, please, nakikiusap po ako sa atin lahat. Let's respect someone's uh, opinion and view. Kung naniniwala siyang dun sa iboboto niya, let's not impose. Amen? Hindi yung, uh, David, ito yung tama eh. Tama ito eh. Ikaw, mali ka eh. Kami yung tuwid. Kaya, corrupt ka eh. Huwag na po natin gawin yun, mga kapatid. Hindi po yun yung gusto ng Panginoon sa atin. Ang gustoan po ng Panginoon sa atin, itaguyod po itong bansa natin. Hindi dahil may matino tayong leader, pero dahil gusto natin si Jesus yung namumuno dito sa nation natin. Amen? That's why if you have friends, be the bigger person. Okay? Kapag binash ka, okay, hindi ko po kayo pipigilan mag-campaign, no? mag-post kayo sa wall niya. Freedom niya po yan. Okay? Mag-post ka, this is my guy. Expect na may magbabash siya, pero huwag mo nang patulan. Pero tayo po, hindi tayo yung mauunang pumatol. Amen? Wala po sa 5pm, napapatol sa mga ganitong campaign. 
we are the bigger person because we know whom we are serving. We know who's our Savior. It's not the President. They're just tools whom God used to bring order sa nation natin. Pero the Savior, it's not them. It's Jesus Himself. Don't isolate yourself, brothers and sisters. Don't isolate yourself. Don't go in that place where you will do it by yourself and then the problem will become worse because you you did it alone. Nobody journeyed with you. Worst thing, my prayer, God forbids, it will cost you your relationship with Him. We don't want that. We may have uh, disagreement. We may have uh, issues together. But knowing that my friends in the church are godly and what they want is for me to become closer to God, even if it hurts me when they give me advices, even if we disagree with each other with their views, I will not take it against them. Why? Kasi alam ko godly din to mga to eh. Mahal, mahal din nila si Jesus. So kahit nagkamali to, hindi ipig sabihin ganun na yung buong pagkatao niya. Amen? So tayo po mga kapatid, please, we have a lot of opportunities not to isolate ourselves. Especially to those of you na, those of us na uh, magta-transition sa next life stage. Maybe you're a student, go work ka, working, kakaroon ka ng relationship. Relationship, ikakasal ka or magkakababy ka. All the more you need people around you. Because the desire of God is for us to be one. Amen? Do you feel isolated? I thank God there's the life of one of the apostles, Peter, where he... Alam po natin si Peter, no? Tama po. Kilala niyo po si Peter. Sino po si Peter? Siya yung... Pedro. May manok, di ba? <laughs> Ba't siya may manok? Kasi po din niya si Christ, di ba? Before the rooster cows, crows, you will deny me three times, Jesus said. And Peter, okay, he fell. He disowned God. He renounced that he knew Jesus. And he was broken. He was devastated. But we all know the story in John 21. We're about to end. In John 21, he was redeemed when he received the words of our Lord Jesus Christ. Peter, do you love me? And Jesus Christ, feed my lambs. He received the word. He was restored by God back to him. So, he received God's words. He received the prayers of Jesus. And my prayer for all of us today that you will receive God's word. Let's continue in verse 14. I have given them your word, and the word has hated them. Be- the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world. You are not of the world. We are not of the world. Tell that to the person right beside you. You are not of the world. Sige, wag ka lang medyo dumistansya. You are not of the world. Sige po, gawin po natin. You are not of the world. You are not of the world. Sige po, hindi po tayo titigil lang. Hindi po tayo lahat nagsasalita dito. You are not of the world. Sige po, lingunin mo yung katabi mo. You are not of the world. Alfresco, you are not of the world. Yung mga online po natin, sabi mo sa pusa mo, you are not of the world. Sabi mo sa tatay mo, you are not of the world. Okay? You are not of this world. As Jesus is not of this world. I thank God for verse 17. The prayer of Jesus. Sanctify them. Pastor, ang lalim. Munti ka umalun. Ibig sabihin, cleanse. Cleanse them. Purify them. Okay, that's what it means. Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. We can abide in God because Jesus is praying for us. And Jesus is exposing the schemes of the enemy. And He is giving us community so we can be one as they are one. If I am to summarize the, the whole series that we, have, we had, Abide, is this. We abide in God. 
through His Word, His Word that constantly transforms us and empowers us to live a life that is pleasing to Him. The only way for us to live a life pleasing to God up until our last breath is acknowledging that we can't do it by our own. That only Jesus can help us. And let Him connect us to His church. Regardless of our background, of our offenses, of our hurts, He will place. I'm praying that you will find your place here. That you will find your place, your community. That you will grow with people here. Magkakaroon kayo ng same wavelength nyo. I know it's kind of difficult to build connection relationship. Lalo na pag hindi mo ka classmate nung high school, iba yung pinanggaling ng culture background. But guaranteed you can build. My lifelong friends, as we end, I've known them not because uh, nag-retreat kami, no? Nagkakilala po kami dahil nag kami ng service. And I just served an, as an usher back then. And then those people who were ushers, ushering with me became my friends. Nag-out of town po kami once in a while back then. So ito po, may basketball tayo. Let's build this church together. Sa mga women po natin, we're looking forward to have an event. We're planning a lot of things that we can get to know each other, not only on a Sunday. So I'm praying that you will find your friends here in church. And we will abide in God's Word that will keep us from evil. Amen? So Father God, thank you for allowing us to abide in you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for, for sometimes, God, we, we are feeling weak. We are sensing fear, oh God. But Lord, thank you that you're, you never stop abiding with us. Lord, thank you for you are not bound by geographical location for us to abide in you. We can abide with you 24-7, Panginoon. Lord, I pray not only on-site, but online. Lord, to those of us who are feeling disconnected, oh God. To those of us who are online, please do type connect if you want to be connected to us. Start somewhere. Pastor, masyadong malaki yung victory group. Di ko, medyo nahiya ako. Start somewhere. Be an usher volunteer. You have your life stage. Nang galing ka sa ibang lugar, then dito, you have a fresh start. You're welcome to be here. Those of us who are here on site, you're not yet part of a victory group and you, you know that you need one. You know that this life past two years has been tough for you. And you have nobody with you. For those of us who are here today, while all heads bowed, eyes closed, let, let this be a private moment for everyone. Should you want to be connected to us, because your desire is to abide with God. Please do raise your hand today so we can acknowledge you and you can put it down after you raise it as we acknowledge. Thank you, Lord. Those of us who are here by Alfresco, please do keep your hands raised. Thank you, Jesus. Anybody else? Please don't don't journey your Christian walk alone. Don't go through the journey alone. You're in a vulnerable stage if you don't have people who will believe with you on your side. Pull you closer to God. Thank you, Jesus. If it's too much, please.
message our Facebook page, Victory Quezon Avenue. You can, you can PM me as your pastor. Let us help you. Let's do this together. Because God, Jesus wants us to be one as they are one. Thank you, Lord. So, Lord, we lift up to you every person, every soul, Lord God, who hears your word this evening. Lord, we will abide in you. Lord, this is not going to be an easy ride, but Lord, by your grace, it will be a life of adventure, O oh God. It will not be a life of regret, Lord, a life of pain, but it will be a life that is so full of your revelation and of your love. Thank you, God. Our desire is to honor you. Our desire is to please you, Lord. You know the hearts of everyone. You are all-knowing, Lord. You are omniscient, God. That's why today, Lord, as we lift up your name, as we sing in worship, O oh God, Lord, sanctify us in your truth, for your word is truth. Let your word pierce every heart, O oh God, that it, we can't help it, Lord, but be transformed and be empowered, Lord God, by your word. So, Lord, we celebrate your goodness, Lord, this evening. Let's all stand today, church. Let's all stand as we worship God. Lord, we, we lift up your name. We thank you, God, for that is yet to come. Thank you, God, for you've called us, Lord God, away from darkness towards your marvelous light. We honor you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's worship God. As you make mountains full, you pull strongholds down. None can stand against you, kings lay down the crown. Every fear is silence, for your word is true. And the seems there's no way, cause you make mountains move. Come on, you make mountains move, you push strongholds down. None can stand against you. Kings lay down the crowns Every fear is silence For your word is true And it seems there's no way Cause you make mountains move You turn You turn my doubts to dust Fulfill your promises Nothing Nothing's impossible My God will overcome My God will overcome My God will overcome My God, come on My God will overcome Cause you make mountains move You pull struggles down None can sin against you Kings Lay down the crown Every fear is silent When it seems there's no way Cause you make mountains move Cause you make mountains move oh. Thank you Lord, let's praise God Thank you God Thank you for abiding with us oh God Thank you God, we're never alone oh God in this place you are with us and for us, Lord. That's why, Lord, let this beer, year be a year, Lord God, of, of favor and grace, Lord God, because you are, we are walking with you. Give us a deeper hunger, Lord God, for your word as we abide with you. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord makes face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless everyone. If you need prayers, you can stay here and one of our leaders will approach you. See you all next Sunday.